Hi uh, guys, so it's uh, in the UK now, it is uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon and so I decided to do something a little bit different. It may work, it may not, but you know what? I might as well try and you know, I may be good at it, maybe not. So this is basically me um, going on to new sites. I've got um, three new sites up at the moment. Um, uh, and basically the gist of it is what I'm planning on doing is that uh, I'm planning on picking a news story on the three sites, uh, one on each of them, and just talking about it for, for about two minutes each. So I'm hoping this video is going to be about eight minutes long. Um, my opinions, um, everyone's entitled to their opinions. You may think I'm wrong, I may think you're wrong if you reply. But uh, this is just my opinions. Um, Obviously, taken with a pinch of salt, whatever you want to do. So, basically, the story I'm going to go with on one site called Sky News, uh, or news.sky.com, is that a fourth person has been um, arrested in, involved in the Jimmy Savile scandal. Now, you foreign people, if you don't know what the Jimmy Savile scandal is, it's uh, basically there was a f uh, famous um, idiot uh, <laughs> who did a TV program back like 20 years ago um, called Jim Will Fix It For You, and he also did Top of the Pops and a, a couple of others, Clink Clack or whatever that program was called. Um, well, it's been, it's been, he's had 450 claims of sexual assault. Bear in mind, he's dead now. Um, the police are still investigating it because of other people that may or may not have been involved. Um, this is just allegedly uh, Freddie Starr's been implicated in it. Um, Gary Glitter's been implicated in it. These are just what I'm hearing on the internet. These, are, you know, I'm not going. They definitely did. This is just, you know, what I've what I've read on the internet. And now, today, apparently, Dave Lee Travis has been arrested by the Savile Police as well. He's a former Radio 1 star. Um, and it just sickens me that these these sort of people, um, you know, these were people in the BBC, you know, in the depths. You know, you had, you obviously, you had Dave Lee Travis, who was... Um, former Radio 1 DJ, you had Jimmy Savile who was a DJ, uh, Top of the Pops, Click Clack and, um, and Jim will fix it for you. Um, then you had the, you know, the singers Gary Glitter and Freddie Starr who popped on to Top of the Pops and other shows and stuff like that. And it's just sickening that people at the BBC hid this for so long. It's Someone was protecting them. Is my is my opinion. Someone was protecting these um, these people, whether they did it or they didn't. Um, this 450 claims is very hard to um, get away from. When when the news first broke, I was actually defending Jimmy Savile. I said, "Oh come on, he's dead. You know why? 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 You know bring up why bring up the past? He's dead. There's no reason to you know do this. You know." But then. The claims went from like 5 to 100 to 200 to 300 to 350 to 400 to 450 and it's still going up. You can't defend that. There is no way that Jimmy Savile was innocent. I'm, I'm sorry, there is no way now that Jimmy Savile was innocent. He he was a paedophile. He was a predator. Um, he was a sexual predator and I'm sorry but I'm glad he's dead. Um, He's still got his knighthood, he's still got his uh, papal um, knighthood. Um, which makes sense considering, you know, I'm not going to get into the whole Catholic and kiddie feeling, but, you know, there has to be more people um, in this. There's, where there's one, there's usually a ring. So I understand why the police are investigating it, and heads should roll because of this, because they're, what, if, if anyone is still working at the BBC who covered this up, and it's found that they covered it up. They should be held just as responsible, if not more so, um, for for, the, for for what's happened there. So that's just my views on that story. Please don't sue me, anyone. <laughs> but uh, you know that that's just my feelings of that. 
Um, so that's, that was the story I picked up on Sky News. Um, so I'm going to head over now to... Um, let's see... Yeah, I'm going to go with um, apparently a civil servant in England um, almost lo lost her arm after being bitten by a house spider in Surrey. Um, Surrey being an area of England. Uh, apparently she suffered horrendous swelling to the arm. It blocked the blood flow and turned her limbs septic. Um, her husband called 999 after she vomited green puffs. Life-threatening issues, but arm was eventually saved. Um, and this is from a, a common house spider. Now I hate spiders. I, you know, I may be a big lad, you know, um, but the, even a teen, even the teeniest, tiniest spider, sets me on edge. Um, and to know that now that there's house spiders that actually can, that are actually, for all intents and purposes, poisonous. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> it just doesn't go well. So, um, this this story was on the DailyMail.co.uk. Um, so yes, um, intriguing, um, a little, um, not so much. Um, so that was my you know my views on that is just ooh. Ooh, get rid. <laughs> um, so then I'm going to go on to my last story. Um, I'm just still trying to decide which one to um, to do. So just bear with me a second. Um, Okay, so I'm going to choose. Um, I'm going to choose the fact that apparently coffee is going extinct. Um, uh, uh, I think it's Arabica coffee. coffee. Yeah, it says here, researchers have found that due to climate change, Arabica coffee is going um, extinct in the wild to completely die out by 2080. Um, now, <laughs> I. Drink Nescafe, um, so I'm a coffee lover. I've, I've, I drink like a cup every now and again. I'm, I'm not not mad on it. Sometimes I am, but I'm not at the moment. Um, and that and Nescafe is actually Arabica. Um, this is gonna impact a lot of things. People probably won't realise that it's gonna impact a lot of things. But when uh, coffee is the second biggest selling product in the world after oil um, yeah <laughs> kind of uh, kind of is important to a lot of economies around the world I would say um, as well as a lot of businesses such as Starbucks but I don't give a shit about Starbucks because they don't pay their uh, proper tax or the tax that they should pay at least um, so my thoughts on that is at the end of the day um, if coffee was found now, if, if literally no one had discovered coffee, um, and the same goes with tea and alcohol as well, if no one had and tobacco as well, if no one had found these uh, these 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 four things, um, and and we'd literally just discover them now, they'd be class B drugs, they'd be illegal in England. Um, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's no surprise that the coffee's going um, going extinct when you've got loads of people drinking it. We've got uh, droughts and different kinds of climate change, um, which, by the way, is another mis uh, misbelief that uh, you know that we're causing climate change. Climate has changed every day. You know, I look out my I look out my window and it's gone from bit rainy to sunny to sunny to rainy. You know, it's changed. Everything is changing. It's the natural course of the planet, in my mind. Um, I don't believe for one second that uh, we're the cause of it. As a matter of fact, there was a study done um, a while back. I can't, can't remember where I read it, read it from, so, um, you know, bear with me on that. 
but um, there's a stu there was a study done saying that actually, compared to all the animals on the planet, the hu humans put out less carbon um, dioxide into the atmosphere. It's actually the animals doing it. So in my mind, it's it's natural. This is this is a natural occurrence. This climate change, and um, all it's just going to be a case of is um, you know when one place goes you know like crap for growing coffee, there might be another place in the world which might be doing well. It's like wine at the moment. Wine uh, prices are going up in the world because the only place that's actually having a decent uh, crop of grapes is uh, California. You, France, Spain, New Zealand, Australia, all these places which are good for wine um, have had droughts or um, or heavy rainfall or you know something that will that just, that has destroyed the wine crop. It's only California is the only one that has not um, has not had issues. So we're seeing a lot of things change. It's it's going to be uh, interesting to see. Um, how the coffee thing plays out because as I say it is the second most traded commodity after oil so we might be seeing a bit of a problem here <laughs> so uh, this is just my quickie well I say quickie it's been 11 minutes but uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video um, tell me if I'm wrong tell me if my views are wrong whatever as I say this is just a little experiment that I'm doing I may do another one tomorrow um, that all the all the links to where I got my stories are going to be uh, down below, so you can have a look. Um, quickly, I'll tell you them again. The first story was on news.sky.com. The second story was on uh, dailymail.co.uk, and the third story I actually got off sourcefednews.com, um, which is a YouTube news channel, um, which I I adore. Um, so if if no one has heard of SourceFed. Um, go check them out. They do they do quite funny um, takes on the news. You know they they put a bit of uh, hilarity, hilarity into some news stories. Obviously there's some that you can't put hilarity in, but they do a good job at trying anyway. Um, so go to sourcefed uh, sourcefednews.com and just have a look around. They've got loads of things: gaming news, uh, coffee news, obviously. Um, They've, they've got a story about Monster Energy being blamed for, for deaths. Anyway, so thanks for watching my 13 minute, I was only expecting it to be 9, but I'll go with 13 um, video. And uh, tell me what you think of my opinions. Am I wrong? Am I right? Um, do you agree? Do you not? Etc. Etc. Leave a comment down below, like the video, etc. etc. And I will see you probably tomorrow.